Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Concepts Online. I'm Dr. Sam Seema Jain here and I'll be talking about how to prepare for physics board exam in 30 days and score above 90%. So today we are on 2nd of February or about 38-39 uh, days are left for the board exam. So I thought let me formulate point by point how can you prepare and really do well in physics exam. So the first point that I want to share with you is that NCRT is your Bible. Read NCRT word by word. Do all the solved and unsolved questions from each exercise. If you have not studied NCRT till today, start now. It's not late. Doing NCRT will improve your percentage at least by 10 to 15 percent. And conceptual questions are very important. Now the question is, if you have not studied NCRT and you found it difficult, that's why you did not study. Trust me, now you will find it easy. Why? Because you have studied physics entire year and you have absorbed some terms, some uh, derivations and some, uh, you know, special conditions that are needed uh, to derive a particular uh, formula. So, you will find NCRT very, very comfortable now. Please do it from NCRT. I am repeating it again. The next point that I want to go on to, there are 14 chapters. So in CBSE physics, there are 14 chapters. There are some big and some small chapters. Last four chapters, which are photoelectric effect, dual nature, atom nuclei, semiconductors and communications are of 20 marks, 22 marks. These chapters are small and easy to understand. Master them on priority. You know, like you will spend only about not more than two days and these 22 marks will be yours. Optics, which is wave nature, ray and polarization is for 17 to 18 marks. That means your second book is for 40 marks. If you master your 40, uh, if you master your second book, your these 40 marks are, your, are yours. But when I'm saying master means every single word of NCRT you should know, every single question of NCRT solved, unsolved you should know. You have written down your derivations, conditions, everything which is given in NCRT. So that is your next point. Then comes first book. First you finish the second book, then go on to the first book. This first book, you know, since we start from it, we have read it many times and we find it very com too comfortable uh, to deal with electrostatics and current electricity and magnetism. Now the first book is for 30 marks. Most of the deriva derivations are in first book. So first and foremost, you can start from anywhere. Maybe you start from electrostatics and do all the derivations. Go on through the questions, the derivations, the graphs, the points to ponder from NCRT. Then go on to current electricity, then magnetism and so and so forth. Right? But every bit of NCRT is what you will be doing. Then revise your entire course in next 10 to uh, 12 days. So starting today, if it is 2nd February, we should finish by our revision, uh, of our revision by 15th February at max. So the first point is revise your entire course chapter by chapter from NCRT. Finish revision in 10 to 12 days. And best time to study physics is in the morning. Means the moment you get up, freshen up and uh, start doing physics. When I say start doing physics, it doesn't mean reading, it means writing. So, you're up, uh, and then you're absolutely, uh, you know, fresh in the morning and you are mentally and physically alert. So, this is the best time to study. When you are, uh, uh, you are revising, spend about four to five, when you're revising, spend four to five hours and finish one topic. Take one or two small breaks in between, right? But try finishing one whole topic in one single day. Even if we just do one small topic also in a day or one big topic in one day, will still not take more than 14 days, more than 14 days, right? Then we go on to once we have done the full revision, I would suggest in between you can look into a question bank, which basically helps you in doing previous years papers on all possible questions. So you can, uh, two, three good question banks that I can suggest you is uh, to the point or you can have together with physics. 
these are two good books or if you want then you have um, you know all other books which you can try sl aurora etc okay then from do, doing all the numericals all the questions the theory the revision then you go on to do at least 15 papers do at least 15 papers before starting to write write read before you start uh, writing you must read through the paper and decide on which questions you would like to answer and do it every time you write a paper means even when you are practicing at home you should really you know go through this exercise that you decide about the questions and then you time yourself right and do the paper between 10 am and 1 pm to maximize your output because that's the time you will be actually giving your exam then the next point is try finishing your paper in two and a half hours so that you are left with some revision time fine and never 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 be stuck on a question right even if you don't know doesn't matter come back to it later on i'll tell you when i'm telling you about how to write a paper so now we come to the point once we have done the revision we have done the papers now comes to when we are writing the papers so when you are writing the paper even when you are practicing at home remember first one hour is very very crucial right you have uh, you have uh, to write as fast as you can and do only those questions which you really know well right you have to write fast and do only those questions which you really know well so then uh, you know try complete your paper uh, Try to complete your paper, half of the paper in first one hour without stopping anywhere. And then the next point is you have to do your paper in the sequence. Suppose you don't know a particular question or you have doubt about it, leave space for it and come back to it. Once you've finished the questions, you know best. So this way, you know, you will not be wasting your time and you will not be actually, uh, you know, uh, um, kind of uh, getting stuck up on a question. Once you've finished the paper, you can spend whatever time is left in finding out solution to the questions that you don't know, right? And the last point is follow these points to secure more than 90% marks. I'm 100% sure if you have revised, if you have done papers, if you have done previous questions, there is no way anybody will stop you from securing more than 90% marks. Be confident while writing the paper. All the best secure excellent marks students. All the best once again.